All right, hello. Welcome to this uh, very, very special, uh, special occasion. I'm uh, today going to take on the, uh, well, uh, the Spanish, the Spanish guy, Pepe Cuenca, the Spanish Grandmaster. Uh, my good friend and my good colleague from uh, Madrid, Spain. So uh, we're gonna have a type of uh, banter blitz uh, match with the same uh, format. The one with uh, uh, who reaches 8.5 points wins the match. So I think it's going to be uh, be great. Uh, I'm really looking forward uh, to it. So uh, so yeah. It looks like I need to uh, to change the title. So, uh, hello to uh, to everyone. Uh, it's so nice to see you again. Uh, hello, Koopy. Hello, Finheister. And uh, Slumf, <laughs> however you pronounce that. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, for the prime. And uh, hello to you as well, Mr. Mouse722. So, uh, so yeah. I am ready when the Pepe is. I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure exactly when he is ready, but I think he's ready any second. So, uh, once again, it is a Banter Blitz, uh, not a Banter Blitz, but a B Banter Cup match. And, um... Uh, yeah, the first one to 8.5 points wins the entire match. I am ready. I have prepared myself for a long time for, for this match. I got my Coke right here. And I got my, my cap. And um, let's see whether or not we can take down my good friend Pepe Cuenca from Madrid. So, uh, hello, and uh, thanks a lot for the good luck. Uh, I think I need it, but um, in a way I think it's going to be tight. I got some mouse problems, which I always do, so... Does the name tab tag on your face cam say, oops? It's just that my keyboard doesn't work. It's, it's, uh... <laughs> it's slight, slightly annoying, let's see. Uh... So, uh, let's... Try to change that. Oh, just a second. It's this one. Um, yeah, that's gonna be very hard to change because my keyboard doesn't work. Uh, let's see if I actually can change it. No, I, I can't change it because my keyboard uh, doesn't work, which is uh, kind of annoying. And for some reason, you can't you can't either copy names and you can't do anything. And, uh, yes, my keyboard does not work. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of a shame, but... Yeah, there's nothing I can do, because I can't copy the name or anything like that. Oh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Alright. Well, what can I do about it? I think I'm just gonna remove it. And, um, at least... <laughs> So uh, uh, yeah, I am. Uh, I'm ready wh when Pepe is ready, and he's not ready yet. So, is this the same cup that Swidler played in yesterday? Uh, no, it's not. It's just for fun. It's a match between me and uh, my good friend uh, Pepe Cuenca. Um, score prediction is. Uh, I really hope that I will be able to win, but I don't. Do not think I will win though. Pepe, Pepe, Pepe is pretty good. I mean, he did beat Pensulaya 9-0, which is, which is crazy. Although I lost 9-5 to, uh, to um, Dominguez, so I do think I have a chance. And the challenge is in. The challenge is in right here. So I certainly hope that the sound is good and everything is fine. And uh, we have a challenge from Jose Cuenca right here. So this is going to be intense. Uh, no, I'm not a photographer either. I'm uh, just an Norwegian commentator. So, um, thanks a lot uh, for the good lucks. Thanks a lot for that. Uh, Pepe is ready, so I think I'm gonna accept this challenge just now. 
All right, I'm gonna accept this challenge and uh, we'll be ready to go right now. So Pepe starts with the white pieces. Let's see what he can he can do. I am excited. Everything is fine. Seems like you fixed your mic since last time. Uh, thanks a lot for the good luck, guys. Thanks a lot. Uh, it's. I am very excited about it, and I hope that X Split decides to behave as well. <laughs> All right. So Pepe hasn't moved yet. Uh, I'm not sure why he hasn't, but. Maybe it's a kind of commentate or something over the match. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot for that, Abdu. And uh, I'm gonna go all in. I'm gonna try to beat him. It's a it's a match of honor, although it's a match between friends. It's a match of it's a certain amount of honor involved. Uh, so yeah. I'm not sure why he's not moving, but. Um, we just gotta wait, I suppose. I'm. I think he's probably talking to his entire Spanish fan base, who are gonna give him a lot of uh, motivation and uh, good uh, words before this match, the match of his entire life. Uh, yeah. So uh, it seems like uh, <laughs> he's. He hasn't uh, started to play yet. Maybe I should just ask him. If everything is fine. Now we played. All right. All right. We're just gonna get the chats up in here. And C4 is officially on the board. So I'm gonna answer with E5, which is a classic approach. I'm gonna go with Bishop B4. But the knight C3. Uh, I had a friend of mine teaching me this opening. So I can either play A5 or I can play Bishop C5. So I'm gonna go for Bishop C5. Uh, both moves are fairly fine, I think. Uh, so now, yeah, the move is knight c f3. So I can go, I'm gonna play c6, and then knight c3, and then d6. Which is the main line, I think. This is fairly fine for black, and now e3 is the main move when I follow up with bishop b4. And so we both kind of lost a few tempos, but, um... And yeah. The queen is officially on c2 here, uh, so I'm just gonna. I can either play knight e7 or knight f6. I don't even. Uh, I don't really know where I should put it, but I suppose knight f6 makes a lot of sense because I can play e4 in some lines. Uh, will you do banter blitzes? You didn't make one for a long time now. I think I will do one soon. The thing is that I've been busy with the Norwegian channel where I've been doing most content, but I think I should do stuff in English every now and then as well. So Castles is officially on the board. I need to play faster. So Rook E8 in order to play E4 in a few lines, which is an entire point of the system. And I can sometimes just take here and then play E4. Uh, yeah. If I remember, this is the this is the point. So now we can't play Knight H4 because I have G5 trapping the Knight. So he's gonna play Knight D4. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, I think I can play c5 and knight c6, but I can also just play knight d7, I think. Personally, I think that's a better move. Ooh, knight f5, knight c5. All right, no problems. No problems. Move faster. Thank you. I, yeah. Uh, so I have a Crash Bandicoot cap uh, on me, as some of you didn't notice. I'm gonna, am I going to grab that? I'm going to grab that. That was a good move, though. I did not really anticipate that. Um, or was it? So I just gotta make sure he doesn't get too much play with b4 and bishop b2. That can potentially be extremely dangerous. I'm gonna change, chase away that queen. And uh, continue development. Uh, knight f6, then e3 comes. That's very annoying. Uh, if knight c5, then b4 comes as well. Oh, snap. Do I have to play like a5 or something? I think I will, but I suppose he's just gonna play b3. Uh, ooh, that's kind of annoying. I think I've misplayed this a little bit. Ay ay ay! Are we gonna be off to a bad start? That's not good. So if he plays d4, I'm kind of happy to be honest, because I want him to block the diagonal. Uh, bishop b2. I'm gonna go bishop f5. We're already in massive time trouble. So. Uh, yeah, uh, 
I am indeed a fan of Mr. Beast. I, I think a lot of you guys are aware of that. Oh, Night 5 was way better. Now I have insane problems in the pin right there. So E4 comes. I'm gonna, just going to play Bishop G6. I don't think that was the best move by my friend, Pepe Cuenca. Uh, when is the next Banshee of Lasha in the region? That's coming actually, I think, quite soon. At least we will be having a match with the French later today, which is going to be intense. So this is a sort of practice before that. So Pepe is playing slow. I'm also playing slow. We're both playing very slow. And uh, I think I have some problems. I have, to, I have to grab that, block the diagonal with F6. We have massive time trouble on our hands right now. Queen B6 with the idea of, take, of taking on B3 while also some discoveries. What are you going to do about that, Pepe? What are you going to do about that? You do not have more time now. You have less than 40 seconds left. I think I'm just going to grab the pawn on b3 as soon as he moves. So, uh, so he plays d4. He doesn't care about the pawn on e4. And I can also grab on b3, though. I guess I will do that. I think that's a better move. Queen takes b3. Pepe has 30 seconds left. He ignores my queen because he wants a checkmate. Maybe the little time he has left. But he doesn't have more time to think. He has 26 seconds. I, I just go back to b6. There's no queen trapped right there. Knight f8. I'm just going to try to play d5 as soon as I can. I suppose bishop c2 is going to come right there. That's kind of annoying. But I think I'm just going to play knight g6. He has 15 six seconds left. He doesn't have enough time to mate me. He doesn't have the time at all. And with a slow move like g3, there certainly can't be anything going on here. So I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna play rook d8. Yes, 13 seconds left. King to g2. What a move. I do not really understand that. Queen b5 in order to play queen e2 check. He has 8 seconds left. And he's not gonna be able to make it. Because he's just playing way too slowly. Knight g5. I don't know why I did that. Knight e6. H... Queen d2. Queen c4. H5, knight f8, bishop e2, queen a4, there's no queen trapped. Pawn hangs, g6. This is actually a little bit dangerous, but he doesn't have time. He doesn't have time. He doesn't have time. And ooh, there's a checkmate. Queen c4, queen h3, I just need to check my tip. And we won on time. <laughs> right, that's a good start. That's a good start. <laughs> I just had, I, I got too scared there. I just had to, uh, to make sure I did actually flag him. <laughs> a bit dirty though, but... <laughs> Whatever. Uh, <laughs> when is the match against France? I think it's at 2030. Uh, so I'm just gonna... Alright, so I'm gonna play d4. Knight f6 is on the table. I'm gonna play knight f3. So he can... He plays g6. So Pepe, is he a King's Indian player or a Grunfeld player? He's a King's Indian player. Okay, so I can play h3 or I can play bishop e2. I think I'm going to play h3. This line is quite dangerous, I think. Thanks a lot for uh, for that. Uh, he has sped up significantly. Oh, crap. So he does that. So g3. There's a lot of theory here. I can't remember anything. Okay, so knight a6 is the main move, I think. So this is when I'm actually out of book, which is... A little bit frustrating though. Ooh, he plays knight c5 and it does it very quickly too because it realizes it needs to speed up. That's kind of a good idea, I suppose. Um, I should have known that he plays this line. He doesn't play the other one which I, with a5, which I am more familiar with. Uh, and I'm already falling behind on time. Can I just play bishop g2 and just pretend like there's nothing going on? Or a5 comes? Alright, ah, I guess I'll go castles, why not? So, uh, he, has, he has played way faster. <laughs> Be careful, he wants to flag it. Nah, I think it's fine so far. Can you write the score? Uh, I will try, but uh, the, the problem is just that my keyboard, my keyboard doesn't work. Which is a huge problem. Alright, so he wants to play f5, obviously, so I'm gonna try to... There's no really good way of avoiding it, though. Uh, annoying. I can sometimes answer that with g4. 
Uh, take that. Nah, I don't really want to do that either. I have one minute. I'm playing way too slowly. Uh, this is obnoxious though. I don't. Uh, I don't like it. This was a good opening choice by him. I don't know what. Why I did that? Ay ay ay! I just gotta grab that, and he's playing way faster than me though. So bishop g f3, I just want to remove that knight to knight g2, maybe play knight e3. I think this is okay as well. I'm gonna play f4. I have only one minute left though. Uh, I think you not has yet GM title. No, I do not. I am an international master. <laughs> I'm too busy re reading the chat. F4 is gonna come at some point, so I think I'm just gonna, I gotta play it myself. So if he takes, I take with the knight, and I think he should take, because if he plays e4, I have knight e3, I think. Uh, which looks fine, although the, the 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 square on d4 is quite annoying. But he grabs it, plays knight e4, that's probably good. I'm gonna take that. Takes, I'm gonna play bishop g4. I don't really care about the bottom b2, because I can put a knight in e6, which is fine by me, I think. Which, which is fine for me. Hello, hello. So we have one minute left against one minute and 45. So he's up tremendously on time. I'm playing way too slowly, but I think my position is good here because I have now, now that I trade the white bishop, I get a grip on e6, which is uh, quite nice, which is exactly what I want. And he realizes that it might be a slight problem for him. So I'm going to take on d7 and I'm going to put my knight on e6 where he belongs. He might even sacrifice exchange for it. And he might get compensation for that, but but yeah. Yet, still you good enough to outplay. Well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> he is thinking now, because he realizes that he's actually in some issues here. Uh, this is just a uh, coincidence, I think. But now we're even on time. So c6, uh, knight e6 I can go for. I can play d6. Why do they have to make that move? I'm just gonna take and play knight e6. And he's gonna take it, right? Oh, he, he takes there. Yikes, I did not see that at all. Oh no. Take. And I'm knight c7, queen d2. Annoying. Ay, 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 I did not see that at all. Knight f4. Or, what should I do? Take the bishop? I don't have the time. I just gotta keep the knight on the board because the knights are very tricky and they jump around you need them in time trouble they're very annoying to deal with because there's so many tricks e3 now, now though is very disgusting so i have to i have to meet that somehow and i can play rook d1 as well i'm just gonna play queen f7 hope for the best maybe even grab on b7 we yeah we're both really low on times okay it's threatening that so i have to play here E2 was a massive threat. Uh, what is he going to do? Is he going to take the pawn? No, he does that. Rook G1, Queen F3, King H2, Rook G2 now as soon as I can. He is low on time again. Pepe Cuenca is low on time. I have I have threats now with my knight. Rook G8, Knight G5. He did not see that. What a good move that was. But does he have more time? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. He's low on time. Rookie 7. I did not see that either. Oh, no. We got E2. Oh, the queen is hanging. I did not see that at all. Takes. Takes. 7 seconds. 7 seconds. I get 7. I just checkmate in one move. And we take him down once again. I did. <laughs> Ooh. That was. That was intense. Oh, that was intense. I did. I did not at all see that the queen was hanging. Not at all. That was. Uh, that was crazy. <laughs> Uh, okay. So he's going for blood with e4. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that's a good start for me though. Um, oh, thanks a lot. Uh, that was that was a funny game. That was a fun. I was a bit lucky though. So c5, e5, e6. I'll go for French first. So now he's probably gonna play his knight with bishop d3. Is he though? Yes, he is. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be annoying like Jun Ludwig. Jun Ludwig, he, taught, he played this against me. And I think that's a very good move. Because this becomes basically a favorable, favorable exchange French, which leads to nowhere. I think. So now you play c4, right? 
That's what Jung Ludwig did as well, was it? It was, right? Knight of six. I'm just gonna play that. Castles. All right, fair enough. It should be seven, probably. Takes, takes, rookie one. Ugh. I'm too slow in the opening, because I know Pepe is kind of well prepared. Uh, yeah, I'll go for C4. B3 takes, takes, knight C6. Followed by like bishop G4 or something. <laughs> All right. Uh, bishop D6 probably, bishop G4. There's too many lines, too many options. I think way too much in the opening, though. I need to get my stuff going. Check out the hammer repertoire and find f <laughs> and find out. <laughs> the problem is that hammer does not recommend the French. I think in his repertoire, I think it recommends e5. Uh, so I guess I'll go rook c8, take the c file. Mihailo is la versión noruega de PP. Okay. Yeah, I suppose that's true. I've heard that before. Just inside 10 seconds, no one's able to mate with even two pieces up. Right. So here, g4, is that annoying? Yes, it is. Or is it? Those tough questions you need to answer. Very difficult. I'm gonna go for it anyway. Because why not? Is Mihailo Bulgarian? I'm half Bulgarian, which means that my father is Bulgarian while my mother is Norwegian. So I'm like a mixture of different, of different stuff. So, okay, g6, g4 is obviously what he wants with that move, but how dangerous is that? 97? Ooh, it hangs a7, that's not good. But how dangerous is that? I, I've i won 12, though. My mother's last name is Mihailova, that's awesome. I'm gonna watch this now, but maybe some other time. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I have to say. So, bishop g6. Uh, I, I think I'm doing very badly after c5 and a7 is hanging. Oh, that's disgusting. But we'll just have to uh, to try to play knight g6 and knight f4 and try to create something. Because we're obviously playing way too slow. So he takes there, knight c6. Nope. Here. Okay, queen b6. I gotta be careful though. A lot of pieces are hanging as well. So, but I... I can I take on c4 next? I guess I will. It's a bit tricky though. I think he's just gonna take back and he takes with the bishop, doesn't he? And my knight's hanging, so I gotta play knight f5. This is not ideal. I have a pawn up for ab pawn down for absolutely nothing. Uh, but okay, maybe I can try to play b5 at some point. If it plays d5, I can play b5 and maybe just make sure that. His center is a bit weakened, <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's try to take him down. Takes, takes, that's probably a good move, because my knight has a few tricks. Uh, rook c7, Pepe is also playing slowly now though, but rook b1 is... Okay, so that's his idea, right. He is, uh, he's good. Here? Bishop d3 with the idea of bishop takes c4, rook d7. So here he plays rook c3, right? Very annoying. Can I sacrifice exchange though? Takes, 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 takes to check here, whatever. That's a risky primo though. Rook c3. Oh, I have rook takes d5. Rook takes d5 though. He takes first, but this is not really that dangerous, Pepe, is it? Are you gonna prove me wrong? Are you gonna prove me wrong here? He might definitely prove me wrong, but like... Okay, so I avoid any annoying checks. If he moves his knight, I always... Now I'm threatening rook c1. Uh, here. Knight c4. Rook c2, maybe. So I'm just gonna grab that. Am I seriously pawn up? Am I... It's insane. Okay, I'm not a pawn up anymore. Oops. 
Okay, it's a massive time trouble though. Draw? He does not want to draw though. He does not want to draw. Oh, crap! Crap, crap, crap. I blunder that. Massive slip there. I'm gonna flag him though. He doesn't want to draw. Okay, but it, okay, he secures the draw because he doesn't have time to mate me. All right, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> it's funny. I'm below like one, one minute on the clock, and I still flag him. I don't know why. I guess he thinks a lot in the middle game, which makes sense. All right. I played versus Pepe on one Banter Blades and he crushed me. Take him down. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Do you already have the rating to get Grandmaster? Unfortunately not. I'm quite far away from that. I need more rating. Uh, my name is Sebastian Mihailov. So Knight of 3, G6 again, right? 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 Yes, okay. So Knight C3, castles, E4, but now I'm gonna play Bishop E2. So Bishop G4. Really? You're gonna play this line? That's strange. Don't face that that often. D5. I think, right? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I'm leading two and a half, a half, which is uh, quite I insane. <laughs> but I've been lucky. I've been worse in literally, maybe not the first game, I think, because then I was a pawn up. Well, I'm just going to change the, those bishops. So f3, bishop f2. Now that I actually have uh, changed the white bishops, the attack is never dangerous, which is good to know. So he tries to change that. I'm not going to allow that. Oh, bishop f4. Okay. Annoying. I, I think I'm worse now, or maybe not. I don't know, to be honest. Good flag. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so rook a maybe no no a three is what Jesus that's a horrible blunder. <laughs> so here first and we've got a three b four. It's basically my only breakthrough here. So a three first and then b four because your blitz rating is the same as Pepe's and you win more than him until now. Well, um, yeah, but Pepe is a good grandmaster. It's quite good. I did play in the same tournament as him in Cuba last year, which was uh, cool. Uh, we were not colleagues back then, though, but I did talk a little bit to him anyway. But now my idea is a 3 b 4 which is very straightforward. So I suppose it's going to go King's Indian style with Bishop f4. But is that dangerous, though? And I do not believe it is. Uh, he might... I don't know what he's going to do. He's, he has a massive think right now. He has to be careful because he simply he just plays too slowly. All right, so knight b4. That's an interesting move. Might be a good one too because now I might need to take on c5. But if I do that, I never have any breakthroughs whatsoever, which is a bad thing to say the least. But if he if he goes to d3, he jumps to f4 as well very quickly. Ay, 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 okay. King h1 and g3. How's that? Horrible. Can't do that. <laughs> Takes. I can take it though. Should I grab it? I do not have any squares for my pieces. That's the problem. I want more squares. I'm gonna take that first. G takes, I think, because he has to do that. If he doesn't. I get the e4 square. Okay, so he's gonna do that. Uh, okay, so takes, takes. He has knight c2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. I actually might want to just trade those. Very annoying, though. I did not want... Oh, takes like knight c2, knight d4. How bad is that? I don't know. You, Pepe, are both great banters. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Queen f2 is maybe a bad move. All right. King h1. How is that for me? I don't know. He does the same. f4. 
f4 works. I'm gonna do that because knight d3, queen e3, knight takes a4, rook takes a4, and it hangs on d4. Maybe Sebastian could insert some ratata from time to time. <laughs> ah, well, who knows? Maybe. But I don't want to steal Pepe's slogan. I don't want to be like a copycat of uh, my colleague. I think he has his way, and it's fun. <laughs> Thank you, Abdu. Thank you. All right. Ooh, I did not see knight before. Crappity crap. Oops, that's a horrible blunder. Once again, I blunder. Ah, Pepe is a clever man. I did not see that at all. A uh, clever, clever guy. No one time once again. 19 seconds, 18 seconds. We just gotta hurry. 94, E6, E6 next. Note, not knife. Fun. Ah, oh, that was bad. <laughs> my time, my turn to blunder. I mean, these knights are too tricky. These knights are just too tricky, man. So, uh, I, I guess that was uh, that was good. Good for Pepe there. He did uh, he did see what I did not see, so I guess he earned the victory. So I'm gonna play e5 now. I do not want to go into any any stuff. So he plays the Roy Lopez. Very nice. Um, so castles, please. Castles. Okay. So Pepe is afraid of theory. I get it. I get it though. I get it. Castles. Bishop e7. Or b5. What is the theory? I, I forget. Where's the hammer repertoire when I need it? Should be seven, rookie one. Really? Oh yeah, this is sort of d5 and followed by like d6 and bishop d5 takes take 95 and knight takes d4. I think this is a theory. Or have I already blundered? Uh, no, I think this is theory because I, I just have a queen d7 and bishop f6. <laughs> I can't remember anything. This is I never meet these lines. So queen d7 is probably I think this might be and one two three four five one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven. So I, sub I don't have any material up either. I suppose I play badly. <laughs> Were your knights less talented than talented than his? Apparently, apparently. All right, so it goes there. I guess it makes sense. Bishop c6, bishop b7. I mean, or bishop f6. No, 94. So I go here. F f5. I always have 95, so that's no issue whatsoever. Okay, bishop b7. You got issues. I got them too. How can I remember so much openings? I forget so easily. Engine says you could have taken on c5 last game, plus 1.2. Man, I did not see that. Or didn't consider it, at least. Hello, Dutch Defender. There is Pepe's stream. I believe that's on the Spanish channel. I have post Pepe stress disorder. <laughs> Pepe is uh, it's a good man. Good man. 94 is bloody annoying. Very annoying indeed, actually. F5, knight, h4. No problems. I hope. <laughs> F5. Now, I, the, the problem is everything is weakening for me here. But I think I will play f5, which weakens e6 tremendously. So if he takes, I have to take back knight c3. I have bishop f6 again, and I, then I think I'm out of the woods, right? I think. Just on break here. Are you also streaming on YouTube? I think this is also... Uh... Oh, if I stream normally on YouTube? This is tournament. Uh, this is just for fun. This is just a friend, friendly, friendly between me and Pepe. Takes takes rookie eight, right? I think. The time is about even as well, so I guess that's fine. Sir, when is the 
$200,000 tournament start. I think that's on the 18th. I'm quite sure. Knight e7. Let's go. Okay, cool. Nice. <laughs> I have to pay attention though. There's only one minute left and I have to look at the position. But I think this is fine. Because takes, 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 takes. Rook e1, queen d f7. I attack on d5. And I don't really see anything for him. So queen f7. No prem. Oh, I, ha I attack g5. Okay, well then I think I am, do I am doing well. Because I have queen e4 next. So h4, queen e4, right? Yes. And now I attack on c2. I attack on d5. And I have more time. Rook e1 probably coming. Which ends in... How does that end? I think that ends in a draw. So takes, takes, takes. Okay, that's a draw. Rook e7. Yeah, that's a draw. What? Rook e8 was... Okay. He takes way worse endgame. What? You serious? Wow, I did not... I did not expect that. I thought we were gonna agree on a draw immediately, but... Apparently, I am pressing for the victory, and I think I'm gonna win. This has to be completely winning. Because I'm just gonna create a passed pawn on this side. A5, A4. Okay, he does that, which is understandable. Uh, oh, yes, only 20 seconds, too. So he does that, which is a nice defending idea. I just gotta find the breakthrough. So, D5 and here? I don't know. D4, takes, takes. King D5, and now King C4, followed by B4. That's not a blunder, because every pawn in game is lost for him. He does that. Bishop is on its way to E4, and this is now completely winning, I think. A3, takes, takes. And he resigns. All right, I think that was a good game as well. Uh, I don't know why though he that he I don't know why he uh, he decided to to go to that lost end game though. He should have just played rook e7 again. And I didn't at least I did not see the, how to proceed. But Sebastian habla un poco español, sí, sí. He aprendido en la escuela. Tenía clases. The Espanol. Pepe wanting to be generous. It looks like it. So knight f6. I'm going to play c4 now. g6. Knight c3. Bishop g7. I'm going to play bishop e2. Castles bishop e3. Does he know this line? This is a very tricky line. e5 apparently does not know it. What? Knight e8 immediately. Okay, Pepe, okay. Normally play a5 first, but 98 immediately. Something I've never seen in my entire life. Never, ever, ever. So takes, takes, take, uh, h4, f5, h5, f4. Hmm. G4. Takes, takes. Takes. Whatever, knight of three. You are a cool guy. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. <laughs> you, I actually, I didn't prepare, prepare at all for this match, which is uh, kind of funny because it's going very well for me. So far, at least. It's a long match. It's a long match. Uh, okay, so knight a6 comes in now, which is, of course, sensible, I suppose. Knight e2 makes sense in order to take the e4 square. Queen h4 is an interesting move here. Hmm. But, yeah, queen h4 is annoying. I might have to go back. Yeah, the draw is fine. These knight retreats were quite popular in the 70s and 80s. <laughs> I guess they were. <laughs> yeah, queen h4 was uh, an annoying move. Queen e7, I guess. Rook g1 or h4. Knight b4, though. Hmm, ninety five is possible to To be honest, I like that more. Let's go for it. Okay, ninety eight. I've never seen that. <laughs> Rook e 
Right. All relaxed. The coke certainly helps. This, this is a good time to be alive. Definitely. All right. Rook G1. Makes sense, of course. Take six and uh, Bishop D3 coming. Queen D2, long castles. I think that's uh, promising. To put it that way, all right. Queen d2. Need to develop and need to play faster. Hello, hello. Nice outfit, dude. Killing it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> castling h6. Ah, it doesn't work. Let's hope it doesn't work. I'm not f3. It's dangerous for him, though. He has to be very careful. There's a, if anyone wonder where the cap is from, it's from the game, a game called Crash Bandicoot, which is one of my favorite games of all time. H4? Okay, that's dangerous. I have to be careful with, he wants to play A4, I guess, and Knight B3. That's his idea. Very dangerous. So I'm going to grab the Knight as soon as I can. A4 is coming, I think, and I'm going to grab and play Bishop D3. Grab and bishop d3, because knight b3 was a massive threat, so I have to be careful with that. But now I think it's, uh, okay, e4 makes sense. That's a good move, maybe. So takes, 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 take, uh, almost miscalculated badly there. Rook e1. So he wants to open up the diagonal. I think he has to do that too, because if I do not, do uh, if he doesn't, I'm going to get too much play, I think. Queen e5 now, ooh. Gross. Knight f3. Try to be annoying and then go back. <laughs> Is this a draw again? That, that's funny, but he has to play for a win because I'm leading by two points now. Oh, he does that. Knight b... F no, 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 no. Damn it, it hangs f... Oh, okay, I just have to move my bishop. This is very dangerous. I have 26 seconds. Uh, new cap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's synced indeed. <laughs> Knight g5, come on! h6. Knight, knight where? We take it. Take the pawn. 14 seconds, I'm gonna get flagged. Badly here. Badly, badly. This is so bad. Takes with the rook. Takes, takes, queen e5, and uh, what can I do? Take on g7, try to survive. Last minute resource. I played this way too slowly. Knife on. Uh. Resign. <laughs> okay. You sound like PewDiePie. Well, he's Swedish and I'm Norwegian. Maybe that's... The reason why? Gonna be a Spanish flag. Oh, Spanish flags. Crying from your Spanish eyes. That's a good song. <laughs> Not anymore. All right, C4. Very tricky. So C6. Knife Han. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just happens. Okay, okay. so this is the Slav. He plays e3, which is one of the main moves. Uh, my age is 20. I have only played... Uh, <laughs> uh, 20... Uh, I, I'm, I'm only 20 year, years. <laughs> okay, knight c3, e6. This is theory. So queen b3, queen b6. Yeah, queen b6. So this is the main line again. So knight h4. Bishop h5, right? h3. Okay. I'm 27 and 1100. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I 
Um... <laughs> Knight a6. I think. G4? Oh yeah, takes, takes, knight b4. Threatening the fork. So he plays king d1. This is was this was Mummy the R of Karwana, as I can remember. It means uh fa, and that means uh means fuck. But it's very soft. It, it's basically the devil, I would say, instead. S swearing in a region is uh is not that it's not that like uh, how to say it? Mm, evil or like bad? Uh, I don't know how to say it. It's just that a lot of people basically swear all the time or very often. So 97. I would say that fun is more like damn to be honest because it's it doesn't have the same uh, the same fears. <laughs> Asian or European woman? The <laughs> women? I mean. <laughs> Oh yeah, Bulgarian is great. Deba, that's a good one. That's a good one. Bulgarian is a great language to, uh, to swear in. <laughs> My daddy uh, used to do that all the time. <laughs> Alright, so A5 now. I have to pay attention to the game here. I'm getting off topic. <laughs> okay, so A5, I think this is good for me. Because uh, I have a nice blockade. I don't think Pepe has anything here of an advantage. And now knight b6 is a threat as well, because I have a fork on c2, which I'm sure he sees. Mm, we believe in you, Sebastian. Thank you, Halvar. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Bulgarian is great. That's great. I know some, some Bulgarian stuff, like um, the basics and uh, yeah. Fortunately, I'm not fluent, though. Which I wish I was. Alright, so king f2, that's um, probably a good move, I guess. The only thing I need to be careful of is... Is knight a2 ideas, because that's basically the only way of uh, proceeding he has. So I'm going to play king e7, so I always have b6. And I think I am out of the woods again, because I just play... Uh, Oh, 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 be careful about that, Sebastian, be careful about that. So b6, I think, is fine. f6, maybe. These positions are rather tricky, though. Uh, I, where should I regroup my pieces? It's not that easy. Uh, f6 looks gross, he's not going to take it. But I, I kind of want to do it anyway, which is why I did it. I uh, just just move along and uh, proceed here. Oh uh, yeah, he does that, of course. Okay, we have to speed up. How to speed up immediately? Have to speed up immediately here. 30 seconds left for me. So takes, takes, bishop e7, of course. We have to retreat. He has now opened up the position, which is beneficial. I'm gonna play knight c2 just to play a little bit. Dance around with my knights. Dance around with my knights. f5 as soon as I can. Rook f3, f5. He's gonna move his knight again. But where is he gonna move it? Rook takes h4. He had completely blundered that pawn. One pawn up for Mihailov. Will we be able to take him down? C5. Grab that. He does not grab it. Takes, takes. Bishop d6. 16 seconds. Against 19. Take, takes. Takes. He's gonna grab it. He has to grab my knight. Knight c5. Takes, takes. King e7. King d6. Take on f4. Pre-move. Pre-move. Pre-move, man. Takes, takes. He's gonna not grab my rook because he wants to flag me. But instead, I'm gonna flag him. Check. King there. Rookie six. Takes, takes, takes. And he's trying to flag me. He might succeed. He might succeed. He's not succeeding. And we did. We win. We did win. We won. What a game that was. What a game. So, yeah. That was insane. That was great. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Rematch. <laughs> Uber flagging right there. <laughs> All right, so let's play the King's Indian in every game. This sounds like horse racing. <laughs> uh, uh, be careful about what you said, Sebastian. Wonder what that that was. <laughs> yeah, that's my girlfriend taking care of me. Nice stream. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, so we're going to play E4 now, I think. It's kind of sad a Bolt has become a fastest flagger. I understand it's a part of the game, though. Yeah. It's just a part of the game. So I can play either Knight C3 or Knight F3. I play both. Let's play Knight F3 now, though. And it was fun to watch. Thank you. Bishop C5. Knight F6. No, he does that. Bishop takes or Pawn takes? Pawn takes. Pawn takes. Pawn takes. Pawn takes. Pawn takes. No. No. No, 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 no. You look like the kid from... A stranger Things with the speaking disorder and grown up. <laughs> how was it to be the Norwegian in the 24 hour? Oh, the how was it to be the best Norwegian in the 24 hour arena? Oh, that certainly was fun. Flag Gambit, Evan Gambit. We're playing the Max Langa attack right now. The commentary was great though, thank you. Well, uh, I know it's, it's a kind of a sad part of the game. <laughs> Flagging, but uh, we both are playing exceptionally slowly and I think it's because we're both are interacting with the chat okay play rook g8 here which is a good move I think I have the nice little move rook f2 followed by queen f1 is that what I analyzed something like that makes no sense uh, what he, d he wants to do with rook g8 is that he wants me he wants that the g file open when I take on f6 and it's indeed a very good move it's the best move hello Alex Jack Knight e6, interesting move. Takes, takes, king h1, knight f4, g3. So queen f1 is uh, my idea here. I think. It's a very bizarre move, but at least I attack that pawn. Okay, so he does that. I really hope that I uh, I played the right way here. It looks disgusting, but it's not that disgusting as it looks, I think. What do I know? It might be beyond terrible right now, though. Bishop c6 stuff. Yeah, this is might be very bad. I don't know. Great knight you have there, yeah. But it's going places to e3, to d5, to everything. I think it's uh, knight c5 of very logical way of playing, Pepe. Uh, rook e1, bishop c6. That's of course what he wanted to do, and I completely missed it. Yikes. Now I am <laughs> doing very badly. Bishop d5 is pretty much the only way of playing, I think. Ooh, this is g gross. This is... This is very gross. I don't want to do that. It's way too passive. Ugh. Knight b knight b4, knight takes e4. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of play, but not really. Because even though I win the pawn on a7. Bishop, you can just take with the bishop anyway. I think we have to go for that. And that's a very sad move to make. I do not really want to make that move, but take like knight f5, maybe. Just have to pre-move a little bit. Pre-move. We have to play faster. Knight e4 might come. Okay, there. Queen e6, right? And then he threatens knight d3. Very annoying indeed. Hmm. How can I be tricky here? I don't know. I, uh... Maybe this one? I am doing very bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, my chat was lagging for a while. <laughs> All right. So, uh, h3. Two pawns down. Ooh, 94. That's disgusting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that move kind of kills me, I think. 
Yes, it does. I have to play rook f3, but then knight d2 comes. These knights, they jump around too much. Rook f3 then. Knight d2. Uh, that's what I just said. That's what I just said. We gotta play f faster. Faster. And queen takes f5, please. Thank you. That would be f so hilarious if he did that, but of course not. I have a few forks, though. Okay, knight g7. Queen c4 is a good move. He probably will do it, too. Nope. Okay, rook f2. Knight d... That stupid knight! Get away from me! Yeah, this is just... Curtains. Especially now, I can just take the check. Ah, I'm just gonna resign that. That was that was bad. <laughs> oh yeah, that was uh <laughs> That was not that good, but the thing is, uh What did I do against Rook G eight? Was it Rook F two? I think I had some absurd absurd idea absurd idea against it. Alright. So C six I guess. E four. So he remembered last time I played E five and I will do that again. So we have a King's Indian on our hands, knight of six, g3, no g3, damn, I hate g3, I hate it, h3 takes, takes rookie eight, right, knight c5, I hate these positions for black, I hate and hate them, but maybe it's fine, b3, a5 is a normal move. Four and a half, three and a half? I think so, yeah. It's a very even match. It's just that I think that G3 is an annoying line to face. Okay, knight, bishop e6. Something like that, I don't know. <laughs> I played these positions before and my score is not very good to say the least bishop e3 it's quite simple to play for white too that's the thing i'll go queen c7 and rook d8 it, it's very simple to play to play white and i just have to wait to see what he does which is not that easy so now i guess i can play bishop c8 so i have knight e6 because i got my rook out so my bishop is actually not that bad on c8 anymore and now I also have pre pressure on uh, the e4 pawn. Thanks for the tip. Next time you meet, you're very welcome. My deepest secrets are revealed. Each 6 That's so bad. Let's just play knight h5. Of course, that's what he wanted. Bishop f6? No. Knight f6. Yes. Queen d2, I guess. I don't know. It's not that easy for, for him either, but uh, yeah, I'd definitely be white if I could. h6. Bishop f4, right? Now knight h5. This is so weird. So here I can not take on e4, right? Yeah, I can't. Right? Yes, I can't. Too slowly. I'm I'm so slow today. What's wrong with me? Too slow. Muy lento. Muy lento. Oi, oi, ay, ay, ay. Knight f3. Did not see that one. B6. <laughs> uh, I don't want to make that move, but I suppose I can place, put my bishop on b7. He does that. Knight c5, I guess. I don't know. Knight d4, bishop d7. He makes it hard for me because I can't trade any pieces or something. The end games are usually quite good for me as well. Queen e7, in order to avoid any pins. f3, maybe. You have to speed up here. We have to speed up, and so does he, actually. Although he is leading with 20 seconds, which is significant. Very significant. Sebastian is the only guy in the world that does Panther Blitz and read comments at the same time. <laughs> I guess I do. How to be Sebastian? Just play the Catalan. That's not true. 
Muy despacito, sí, sí, despacitísimo. De... Grab that. Did I go into a trap? Take the bishop. I can take on d2, but I do not really want to do that as well. Oh, he's just going to take, 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 take. All right, queen takes e4. He's going to take the queen. Is he going to take the queen and take on d6? I guess he will, but then I take on e2. So he takes on b6 instead. Here, right? Bishop takes d8. Yes. Oh, he just kicked. Oh, he can just play this one. So annoying. Don't play rook d3. Don't play rook d3. Don't play rook d3. He does not play rook d3. C5. Take the knight. Rook takes or pawn takes? Takes with the pawn because he don't wants to avoid rook e2. Takes on e5 too. What a greedy man. Bishop d4 now. The bishop is in his position. I'm threatening queen takes g3. He has less time than I do. Queen takes d5. That's a blunder by Pepe Cuenca. But not really because he does that. But then I rook e4. Takes, takes. Takes, takes, queen e6. The equal, the equal amount of pawns here, and he has less time. Should we offer him a draw to be... Well, let's see. Check. Queen, offer a draw. He accepts. Okay. Yeah, it's a draw, and I kind of would feel bad if I have to flag him every single game. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I ha where's the challenge button? Where's the flagging button? Or where's the rematch button? All right. Three oh, there's the... There it is. Okay, nice. He's just gonna take, 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 take. Play with Ding Liren. That guy is a nightmare. Good. Nice jester. Thank you. Did he miss Queen G D G3 check? I guess I did. I guess I did. I don't know. Did I? Let's place e5 again. So what do we do now? Evans Gambit? <laughs> I, I, I'm playing these shady gambits, man. <laughs> but it's not that easy to play for black. You can either play d6. He plays this line. Okay. Queen d7, right? Ah, okay, bishop b6 here. Really? I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember anything. Knight g5. What happens? Knight h6. It's just what he does, I guess. Bishop g5 is possible. But that doesn't do anything after knight e7. Knight g5, knight h6. Queen h5. I did take a look at this. I was quite well prepared in this line. But now, I don't know. Cripe, bitty creep. I can just take here, but that's gonna be bad. If I want to win a pawn back. So I'm playing for the initiative. Uh, knight g5, knight h6. I don't know. Let's go for it. I think he has to play knight h6, right? There's nothing else. D takes e5 wins a pawn, but I think that... That... I think that... That's too slow. Because he gains... When he... I, get, I lose basically all my initiative. Just to win back the pawn. h3... Possible move. This is not impossible. There's so many possible ways to play here. Uh, <laughs> can't remember. I can't play gambits when I don't remember the theory. King edge one. Let's go. We just play f4 and hope for the best. He takes the pawn on d4. I don't care. I play f4. <laughs> Ooh, that's probably really bad. I, I think I've misplayed it significantly already. <laughs> this is very... I'm playing so risky with white. It's so unnecessary. I might, I might like lose the entire match because I just play like crazy. 
with white. Then queen h5. Uh, two pawns down for a little bit of initiative. And we're way down on time. Yeah, this is going well. You're a pawn down, I forgot. Yes, I am. This is, uh, we're two pawns down right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But we have some play against the knight on h6, I guess. We do have some play in the position. But with moves like that, it's not that easy. But of course, we press on h7 now. To be honest, I think he just helped me. Okay, he does that. Blue Spanish eyes takes. Does not work. We have to go back. Knight, yeah, 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 bishop g4. Annoying. Maybe not that annoying. Hey, it's okay. You're leading in development. Risk is good teacher. Chess is fun, though. Yes, it is. Takes, takes. Takes on c3, I guess. f5. He just wants to trade everything. That's so boring. Queen g3. I'm not satisfied with that at all. I'm not satisfied with any queen moves. Yeah, f5 is a very good move. Crap. Uh, queens e1, I guess. Very sad move to make. But if you play, he plays that very simple. Please take on c3. Come on, no, 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 no. I'm gonna lose another pawn. I have to trade queens to play ninety two. I have 16 seconds, to, this is so bad, and I'm white. I'm losing like crazy with white. What's up with that? This is might not be that lost now, but I don't have time. He has time to find the good moves. I don't. Yeah, this is dead lost. But maybe we can fight a little bit, who knows. We can't after that move. D3 comes, Rook here comes, here comes, Bishop A1, no, bad pre-move. Alright, I have to uh, make, uh, I have to be careful that I do, <laughs> it's 5-5 five, five now, very even match, I have to say, but the thing is that I play too risky and I'm not prepared. I have to prepare myself, D6, Queen D7 is quite rare. Maybe you're supposed to just play Queen B3 there. After d6. Yes, you are. I think queen b3 is the best move there. Because then he's forced to play queen d7. He never played it. c4, c6, e4, right? Yes, we're gonna go for it again. No, we're not. Knight takes e5. He plays this line, and I do, I'm not very... I don't like these lines. I don't like them. E6. I can play a million things. Guess I just go for E6 and Bishop E7. Uh, Bishop D6, Bishop E7. I lost twice now with because uh, of my gambits. The Max Langa attack is basically a 50-50. Cause if it takes with the pawn, it's winning for White, pretty much. Yeah, that was, I guess it was, I don't know if it, if it was, was well played by him. I guess it was, but it's also badly played by me. Yeah, what was it? <laughs> I just gotta go back. Uh, I just have to speed up here, because I'm playing too slowly. And, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is an even match. I'm enjoying it a lot. There's a lot at stake. H6, maybe. These positions are unpleasant for white, uh, for black, or well, and for white as well. I think they're unpleasant for both colors, to be honest. Uh, H6, it's a logical move at least. He takes there, so he goes for this. So he doesn't go for the attack at least, which makes me relax a lot because I'm an 
I would actually describe myself as an attacking player, although I play sometimes quite solid with the Slav and everything. But yeah, Pepe has yeah, stepped up his game now. 5-5. Five, five. Play the Bulgarian bean flicker. Hello, Karsten. Hello, Mboya08. That's the rest of the coke. <laughs> but I do have iced tea as well. Alright. Bishop c3. Slightly bizarre, but... He has some initiative, I suppose, because the knight in e5 is very good. c5. Interesting. Very risky, maybe, but I don't know. I'll go for it. I just gotta make, be careful that his attack actually doesn't get strong. But however, I can always take on c3, though, so I'm not too worried right now. Is it morning in your country, sir? Nope, it's not a morning in my country. It's um, a, uh, like uh, 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. Queen... where exactly? Queen b5? Queen e7. Queen e7. Rook c1, rook d8. Rook e8, I mean. Rook d8, blunders, bishop, knight c6. These knights, they jump too much for my taste. Okay, uh, that's annoying. Oh, that's very annoying. Or how annoying is it here? I'll have to. This should be seven next. Queen g5 was probably a good move. I did not see that at all. Uh, here? Knight g4. Knight d5, knight check takes h6. Does it work? No, I have f6. I th should have it under control. Yes, I have just f6. It has nothing. But he has a draw, though. Rook takes a6. It's a draw. He can go for that, of course. Where are you from? I am from Norway. Oh, queen g5 now? Probably the only way of playing. He knight f6, do not see anything. Trade those queens, please. Trade them. We need to get them off the board. Trade those queens. King h8 is the only move. I'm so scared right now. Knight h5. Oh, that's his idea. Okay, but that's not scary at all. This looks... He, he offers a draw, I guess... I guess I'll accept it's a dead draw. Okay, rematch. That was good, I guess. That was good. Alright, e4. He's gonna play e5 again. Okay, I'm gonna play very solid now. Takes, takes, and knight bd2. Does he know this line? d5, maybe? Is that what it goes for? Or does he take the pawn? <laughs> I had this against Dominguez. Is this part of the tournament, the Pepe Invitational? No, it's not. It's just, uh... It's just, uh, for fun. A match, two good friends. Playing a match. So now he's kind of out of book, because this line is very bizarre, like, people don't play it. It's just a draw if he plays correctly. Oh, I thought it was the Invitational. <laughs> no, it's not. So he can take with the Knight on d2, or he can take with the Bishop. I think it's best to take with the Knight. And then d6. Yes. This is just a draw. <laughs> if he takes the pawn and then d5, it's just draw immediately, pretty much. 
It's the line I got. It's the line I played against, uh, or Johann Sebastian is the father of this line. Takes the pawn, queen takes. And this is very solid. Takes the pawn. But it's very easy to play for white, like... Look at my pieces. That's a bad move after queen f4. I believe I'm better now. If I remember my analysis correctly. Do I? I think I do. d5, rook d1. Bishop e6. That does not work after bishop takes d5. And he has to be careful. Well, yeah, play knight a5. I think that's not that good. Uh, right, so do I win the pawn? Doesn't seem like it. Here is possible. There's a lot of possibilities. I think I'll just go here. There's no doubt that I have a lot of compensation and I have a lot of play to here. And I'm going to win back the pawn sooner or later anyway, so no big deal. What? Really? Takes knight g5. Wow. Okay. Knight d4 even. Knight d4 is probably better. Nice position for white. Oh, he offers a draw again. He offers a draw. <laughs> I'm not that sure about the draw right now, though. <laughs> I'm way ahead on the clock. Okay. <laughs> F rook here. I think I have some initiative, but it's not that easy. Knight c6. That's a good move. Here. Maybe it's uh it's equal. I would feel dirty if I win this game, though. It's just so equal, but uh, you never know. So it takes, takes. Here, I guess. I think I will win the pawn, though. I will be very close. King f3. His pawn is very weak. Uh, g4, g5, h4 maybe. h5 comes. Hmm, how can I proceed? I I I I think I'm better, but it's not that easy. It should be three. Okay, that's a good maneuver. This might backfire really badly. Bishop d5. Yeah, yeah, that's... Ooh, that's dangerous. Ooh, what a move. I did not see that at all. He has knight d6. But then I just played with d4. Okay. Draw. Now he wants to try to play for a win, wow. <laughs> oh, he accepts the draw, okay. 6-6, six, six, guys, 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> did you play the famous fucking legend during the 24-hour tournament? Yes, I did. I beat him 2-1 in our encounter. Uh, C4... I will go for e5 again. I don't mind this line at all. Knight e5. Bishop c5. I can also play a5, of course, which I played before. <laughs> Who's this guy from Norway? Magnus Carlsen? Well, quite far away from it, I'm afraid. <laughs> but I, I guess it's uh, we're quite even and. And blitz. Maybe now I can take and play e4. I don't remember the theory. I just don't. Maybe ignore it. Queen e7. So 
So e4, knight d4, c5 is not an idea. I'll try that now. And knight, then knight c6. Why are you being able to put some fire on the board like against Dominius? All right. <laughs> Why do some people go bishop e7 on knight d5? Uh, it's another move. It's, it's definitely an, uh, a possibility. Well, well uh, the thing is that Dominguez has a sharper playing style than uh, Pepe. That's the problem. He plays uh, the Nidorf and stuff like that. Pepe plays more solidly. Ninety-five. <laughs> I was hoping to flag him since he berserked me. Right. Ninety-four? Ah, this looks fine. So his strategy is that eventually his pawn center gets strong with uh, F3 and stuff. Uh, yeah, F3 in the next move. Damn, what do I do then? Queen H4? Nah, f3. Should be 6. a5, I guess. A, a4 against b3. Knight f6. My knights are get. I have to retreat. An e4. Knight e3. Very annoying. It's getting unpleasant, guys. It's getting unpleasant. Anyways, you're the best Bander Blitz player in the world. Wow, thank you. Do you think that Liverpool are gonna be named champions? I hope not. I don't. Ho uh, I also hope not. Although, uh, from an objective perspective, you you can't deny that they do deserve to win the Premier League. Although I do not like uh, the team. I am a soccer fan, and they play insanely well. They've just played incredibly well. Although they have been lucky in a few games as well, but that's just the way it is. You have to be a bit lucky. I remember the game against Aston Villa, for for example, where they were where Aston Villa were leading 1-0 and they ended up winning 2-1. That was pretty, pretty lucky indeed. And there have been games where they've just been playing badly. But of course, I I digress right now, guys. <laughs> Pepe plays like a solid constipated carbs. <laughs> yeah, I guess that should happen. Should you be playing the night or help and prepare? I guess it won't. Yeah, that's true. Who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? You just gotta wait and see. Knight c6. Focus on the game. Focus on the game. It's getting obnoxious though, because he can take f5 and play. Take. Uh, okay, that's actually pretty good for me. He can't give away his uh, black bishop because he will have too many weakness on the black squares. So e5 takes, takes. 97. 97. Okay, the pawn on e5 is weak, the pawn on b4 is hanging. I think I'm doing well now. So, now we're gonna be taking him down. We're gonna take him down. We are gonna take him down. Takes, takes, takes. Bishop g4, very tricky move, but it doesn't help him. Or does it? No, it doesn't. Rook e8. I can also just... Bishop takes d7, I can take with the queen and take on d5, and I can't really see how he's supposed to guard his bishop. And now, he has 30 seconds left. Is this going to go into victory for for me? I think it will. Is he gonna grab the pawn? Yes, he is. Knight b6. Now play knight b6, followed by knight c4. Can we take him down? Knight c4 coming. We have b5 next. He has bishop c5, which is a bit annoying, but we have knight d2. He has to play... Queen takes e5 right now and give away his strong black squared bishop. And he's not going to be able to take him down. He's not going to be able to take us down. We've only 17 seconds left on the clock. Bishop e6. Bishop c5 is going to come right on the board. Queen d8. But what is he going to do now with so little time and an exchange down? b6. We're going to chase away that bishop. Queen d6. Protect on e5. Just play h6 and pretend like there's nothing going on. Rook f8. Protect everything. Take on b4. I'm not blundering any mate. In the back rank, because I am protecting the rook, and we are taking him down. There we go. Ooh. Right, that was intense. That was fun. 
All right, I'm gonna play F4 right now. Knight of three. This is my good friend Lars. D3, C5. And now Lars, he plays Knight C3, right? Or does he play C? I think he plays C3. And then D4. Then he plays C4. He played that against me. This is not that easy to play for black. And then Knight A3. Followed by Knight C2, B4 in some cases. Okay, he goes for that immediately. I don't know about that. Uh, E4? Is that possible? I'm playing so risky with white. <laughs> it's it's. I'm winning with black and then I, I take risks with white. It's almost like I want to make it exciting. Uh, yeah. Knight C2, take it, and then I have the F file. I, I agree with that statement. Knight C2. Uh, so yeah, this is not that easy as it looks like. This is not so bad. Takes, takes, and then B4. I think this is actually good for for white. I don't know. I, I don't think this is bad. The, re the only reason is that his center is a bit... Oh, look, he, has a f he has his trumps, of course, the, the, the black squares, but I, I don't mind this for white. How many points are needed for the win? Eight and a half. That's the way we usually play it here. I'll just take the pawn. I mean, I'm not afraid at all of knight e3, because I just take with the bishop, and it doesn't really do anything, because my white bishop is very strong. Rook b1. b1. The Lars is special, indeed. Lars Oscar is going to join me later today, and we're going to have a match against the French guys, which will be fun. Uh, in the region... Because it's Norwegian versus French. So it's in Norwegian, but... I think we will try to do also more in English. Because, you know, it's nice to have a little bit of both. Okay, but that h3, right? And uh, I have to say, I kind of enjoy talking English. I, I do miss it, so I'm going to... Try to do more shows in in English as well. Okay, so I think we're doing very well right now. What just how to proceed? That's the question. Night before looks good. Very very good actually. I think we're doing extremely well. Queen c seven. Ooh, Queen c seven. I. That's a kind of annoying. But how annoying is it? Hmm. Damn. Bishop f four here, I guess. I don't know. Takes and queen b three. Bishop a three coming. I think my position is very good. Lars is gonna be proud of me after seeing this game, which I hope he sees. But I have to. If I've ever been to Scotland, I wish I had, but I I haven't. I really like Sc Sc uh, the Scottish accent. is my favorite English accent. But uh, where you're from? I'm from Norway. So this is the first time I'm uh, covering a match in uh, in English, <laughs> in my language, which is English. It takes the pawn, but how dangerous is it to take the pawn? Just play simply. Knight d7. The problem is that he has bishop h6 with the ideas of playing bishop e3, which could be very dangerous. Knight g4 and everything. Um, kind of want to get rid of that beast. Here? I, I've spoiled my position so badly here. 19 seconds, Sebastian. You're thinking too much. How can you ruin such a good position? How can you do that to yourself? Grab the rook. Rook takes e2, king g1. This is extremely dangerous and he has way more time. 
This is too risky. Queen takes b7 next. I Oh, of course he attacks on on g3. It's so typical. Rook e7. Rook e1. Rook f3. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 36 seconds. Can we take him down? Takes. Rook takes probably. Oh, I'm going to get flagged here. <laughs> I've been thinking way too much. And I blunder. I blunder. I should play, of course. I have to play King G2. I play way too slowly. <laughs> Rematch. Mr. Dodge, your favorite English accent? Yes. I like the Jamaican one. I like a lot of uh, English accents. I like, the, uh, of course, but like... Um, Russian, of course, it's, it's a Russian accent. It's a Russian English. It's not like an English accent. That was tough. Indeed. Horrible. We need to speed up because we're playing way too slowly. Now, right now, I'm trying to talk like someone from Norway. Knight c3 here is the main move. <laughs> Knight c3. I will play h5. This is a special variation I've analyzed with the computer. The computer wants to play d4 followed by knight h7 and then you kind of uh, have d4 involved and if d4 we can put our knight on e4. Do you like English Indian accent? Yes, I do. Do you like Indian accent? Don't be rude now. Well, I'm not going to be rude. Uh so uh må koncentrera dig nu och inte på Skottland. Jens Stoltenberg, yeah, kind of. Uh, <laughs> he speaks like that. It's kind of hilarious. Okay, e3 is officially on the board. Uh, maybe I can try to play. Uh, I'm completely lost uh, concentration here. Take on c knight d7 is obviously a move, but also knight d6. Uh, <laughs> oh, this makes this cracks me up. So stupid. Ah, uh, 97. Probably a bad move. Swahili accent. Uh, that one is hard. I haven't really... The South African is one of the harder... Also, but that's not Swahili, though. Of course, he has that. Completely blundered that. I am slipping. I am slipping. Not good. A4. And just queen a5 and just pretend that that pawn doesn't matter, but the pawn matters. Yeah, the Nor Norwegian one is hilarious. <laughs> it just sounds so bad. But okay, no problem. Let's try to play e5, knight c5, of course. But yes, maybe maybe small compensation for pawn. I play knight f6 in the position. Maybe e5, of course. But I do weaken d6 square, which is not ideal eventually. But okay. E5, D5 coming to the board, no problem. Big problem, maybe, because I now we can e, C6. Knight C5. But okay, Queen A6. This is difficult position to play. Very annoying move, I must play C5, but now very... Look at this past pawn. Very bad for me. D6 coming. Seems like you're drowning. I am. I am. Can you speak normally? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> uh, that was my little, uh, my little, my little accent. I'm trying to um, to focus on other things other than my bad position here because my position is extremely bad. Uh, this is so sad, but I think maybe now I get some play. I'll have to try to flag him this game, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I doubt that I'll be able to survive. Uh, hang c5, rook a3, maybe. Okay, I have to... Bishop f1 to c4 is too annoying, so I have to make sure that doesn't happen. Knight f3, rook e8. I am, I am playing too slowly. Knight c4. Queen c7. Oh, this is so bad. Horrible. 
And his technique is pretty good too, so. Pretty good technique. I just gotta play back and forth and just hope that his time tickle, t ticks down to zero. 47 seconds for Pepe Cuenca in this position. Rook c8 taking the c file. d6 is in the air. Queen d7 on the board. Bishop b5 in order to avoid any tricks with the knight. c4 coming. Maybe some counterplay. Maybe draw coming. Maybe. Can we trick Pepe Cuenca now, though? Can we trick Pepe Cuenca? 34 seconds for Pepe Cuenca. Can we trick him? Bishop c2. Rook, what are we gonna do? Bishop c2, followed by bishop d3. Such a good maneuver. Bishop back to g7. f5 coming on the board. Very hard for him to defend. Queen g4 is on the table. Bishop takes e4. I blunder. I blunder bishop, but I have rook c2, so it doesn't matter. Taking the queen. He has a pass pawn. Can we stop that pawn? Yes. Can we stop that pawn? Oh, I want to play e4. Rook d8. Rook d7. Oh, I have to flag him. Flag him. Flag him. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do it though? No, I did not see h3 there. I don't think he's gonna be able to win this though. He has too little time. Too little time to checkmate me, but will he be able to do so? That's the question. Can we flag him? And we can. We we are gonna save this to a draw. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh man, that was uh, that was funny. <laughs> seven and a half, seven and a half. This is too exciting. The winner of the next game wins the match. <laughs> what is your feed rating? My feed rating is 2390. Knight f3 or c4? Knight f3. g6? He plays the King's Indian again. I can't believe it. h3 is too dangerous. I think I'm gonna go for this line again. He plays bishop g4. Why? Why do you play bishop g4? Why? 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 D5. This is supposed to be better for white, man. Come on. Knight d1, maybe. Two. I got crushed badly this time, and we're playing this again. F... F3. Knight d3. Thanks a lot for the nice comment, guys. What's the most popular product of Norway? Scotland is whiskies and salmon. Knight d3. And we have... Um, King h1. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh, this is not looking good. Oof. I'm getting worried. I have to pay attention to the game. Uh, t Ooh, knight d3. I almost blunder that. Oh, don't do that to yourself. The winner of this game wins the match. So yeah, that's pretty intense. Rook b1. He's coming with his pawns, but I don't think it's dangerous. It's just that I don't have any breakthroughs on the queen side, though. Which is not good. We are we are coming now. The pawn, he doesn't care about it. But if he plays 94, I'm going to trade away those knights. I'm going to trade those knights if he does that. Yes, we have to get rid of that knight. <laughs> get rid of it, please. Thank you. This is too... In but I have c5 in the air. c5 is coming. g4 isn't dangerous after... I just have h3 always. Where's the mate? The mate's not there. This is the last. If I win, we're done. Rook f7, rook c1. And now we have c5 in the air. I'm gonna pre-move c5. Because it can never be bad. What's the strongest player I've ever defeated? I think that is... Uh, I can't really remember who that is. Uh, I think that was... Uh, I 
think it could be uh, a Grandmaster at 2600. He offers a draw, but I don't know. I don't think this is a draw at all. I think I'm going to win. He plays that. Queen Rook C7. Queen G5. Oh, kind of annoying that he has that move. Queen F2. I'm too scared. I'm I'm really scared. Uh, I can definitely can't take that one. Just Queen E2 slowly takes. Take first and takes. Oh, he has h3 in there. Ooh, very dangerous. Uh, this is this is gonna end bad. Or is it? How can I defend against that? Oh. Uh, but how dangerous is it? Very dangerous. Queen of one. Is it gonna trade the rooks? This end game is a dead draw. So if it if, if it trades it's a draw again. Or is it? Yeah, I think so. Draw? Draw again. I can't believe it. <laughs> this is 8-8. Eight, eight. Is the winner now? How is this possible? Like, it's so crazy. <laughs> Do you have your own stream, Father? I, I don't have the stream right now. But, um... I guess I might get one if people would like that. Are we gonna have, like, the winner gets 9 points, or...? I don't know how that works. Okay, so he plays this. Hmm. You should get your own stream on Twitch. Well, if uh, people would like that, uh, I guess I'll go for it. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the nice comments. But of course, I can't spend so much time in the beginning of the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, he plays... I just... I, I prefer theory. Ooh, this is... I get like an isolated pawn now if he takes. I will follow you for sure. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it. Means a lot. Let's go d4. This is sort of Benoni, isn't it? Except that I haven't played e4. Mm. I have a feeling that I'm going to lose this game. <laughs> no. a5 to avoid b4. We should c5 I guess you're one of the only good chess players who act less than 50 <laughs> wow thank you <laughs> really appreciate uh, the nice comments it's so nice motivates me to keep going bishop f8 looks like a weird move but I suppose I can play g6 at some point although I have to be very careful of c5 96 stuff 94 96 just hold for a draw and then push with white I'm expecting mod if we're gonna start streaming. Yes, I guess uh, you can. Uh, you can become that, Halvar. <laughs> you consume enormous amounts of sugar. I do indeed. 
Okay, so he does that, h6. Get the knight away. I think my position is good. Bishop f5, now I definitely think it's good. Come on, can we take Pepe Cuenca down? I really hope we can. 148, more sugar, please. We need as much energy as possible. Queen b6, of course, is an idea. I will go for it. Now we have 97 to c5. Okay. 97 to c5. So 94, we take it and play knight c5, and then we're definitely doing quite well. Although we have to make sure he never can play b4, because if he can do that, we're in trouble. Bishop f1 is just to protect the d3 pawn, but I think this is... Uh, who's your favorite chess player? Very good question, indeed. Uh, that's... Hard question. Uh, very hard question. Knight c5 can also be played directly, but he just takes and play knight d2 after I take on f4. Um, I might get very weak on... I think I'll play something like this, so I can play f5 and knight c4. And he avoids it. g6? G6 is too ugly. G4 is a good move. That's a good move indeed. G6 though. I don't care. We will go for it. One minute left per player here. <laughs> One minute left. This is too exciting. This is bishop h3 and he does it to rook d8 to protect the knight. Oh no, g5. There's a fork. There's a fork in the air. I have to play bishop e7 after that. Shoot, 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 shoot. Maybe, have I blown it? Have I blown it? I certainly hope I haven't blown it. f5 and knight c5. Yes, I guess that works. Ooh, very... No, queen c4 is always in the air. No, I can't go back. I don't have any moves. No, 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 no. No. Please. F6 works. Doesn't work. I've blundered that fork a million times. He doesn't go for it though. Bishop takes h6. Bishop g8 just to attack the queen. Too little time for both players here. Rook f8 just to protect the pawn. He's now got to attack the g6 pawn. No, he's not. Knight b4. What is b5? Knight d5. I think I'm doing very well now. Knight f4 is coming as well on the board. Queen! Exactly where? No, I can't do that. Here I have to go now. He's gonna trade it. He has a very dangerous pawn. I have to play knight f4 before it's too late. Very complicated position right here on our hands. Well, we're getting extremely low on time. Bishop e4 in order to grab on c5. Takes take on c5 afterwards. And now I believe Pepe Cuenca is in extreme trouble after take on d3 as well. Take on d3. Take on f2 first to get another pawn. Rook b8. Is, he is attacking my rook. I have to move my rook first. e4 is coming. Everything is coming at Pepe's Queen. At Pepe right now. Queen! I blundered Queen! Five seconds left! I can't believe that I just blundered really badly there, but he's gonna flag! He's gonna flag and we're gonna take him down! We're gonna take him down! And that's victory for for me! <laughs> oh man, that's so dirty though. Uh, it, the thing is, the position in the end is too complicated. Like, he offers a rematch. <laughs> Should we like keep going? <laughs> Uh, I think we should we keep going? Maybe we should. <laughs> uh, I, I guess. <laughs> should we keep going? I'm just asking him. <laughs> uh, it's too funny. I, I have to continue. I kind of. In case of 8-8, eight, eight, two more games. He's right. There's two more games. There's two more games. I forgot. 8-8, eight, eight, that means there's more games on the table. We haven't won this game yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is too funny, man. <laughs> I enjoy it. We're not, we're not out of the woods. He's gonna go for King's Indian again. It's too dangerous. I gotta play the four pawns attack. I have a, I have a challenge, really? C5 is a good move. I can't take it. 
It should be three. It's been a lifetime since I played this last. I can't watch anymore. There's one more game. Premature, but still valid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, teach him a lesser lesson, father. I'll try, though. It's not that easy. <laughs> Night. Have I forgot Night? No, he hasn't castle yet. Oh, that's a big difference. I'm supposed to have my knight on F3. There's nothing more fun. Alright, bishop e3. <laughs> this is so fun. I enjoy I enjoy this match so much. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Too much anxiety. Yeah, yeah. This is nerve-wracking for sure. And the theory now. a3 is always a good move. Rook c1. Hmm, queen f2 is sometimes an idea. I go for this. Always good to know the rules. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> There's Ollie right there. <laughs> so, uh, is this Roger Federer playing chess during lockdown? I guess it is. Yeah. <laughs> I, I heard that my smile is a lot like his smile, and I guess I believe that. I can I can believe that. A3. It's your keyboard fixed. How do you message him? Well, I have two computers, so my keyboard works on my other computer. Knight c5. Here, king h1, of course. Rook g1, f5. We're gonna checkmate him. That's our plan. Oh man, this is... I'm loving this match. This match has been incredible. I mean, the outcome, it doesn't really matter that much, but of course it's like an honor in a way. Alright, so F5 now? How's that? Knight D5. I guess I'll go Rook G1 first. I think. Yeah, yeah. This looks good. <laughs> you have the same smile Roger Federer has. <laughs> yeah, I've heard it. This is the last if Mihailov wins. I think I might win this one. Knight d5 now? What do you do about that? b4 is coming too. This, these positions are very pleasant for white. Rook g5, b4 is coming. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna play b4, takes, takes, knight has to move, and now we have f5 in the air. This is looking good for uh, for Mihailov, I think. But how good is it? That's always the question. Takes, we will take with the queen, play rook g5, sacrifice on g6, and checkmate. Ooh. Where's the scoreboard? Yeah, I fortunately haven't been able to put up the score, but the score is 8.5. No, 9. No, it's 9.8. Yeah, yeah, it's 9-8 to, to me. 94. Good move. Rook f1 to protect everything. I certainly can't let this one slip. I, my position is very, really good. Takes, takes. B5 is coming. You are a little calmer now. Yes, I am. Takes. Uh, take. Or F4. Takes, maybe. Take. And then play F4. Another pawn to F5. 45 seconds left for both. It's getting intense again. Queen G3. Rook G2, maybe. Just play Rook F2. He moves his king. Good prophylactic move. How can I penetrate here though? Bishop B D3 followed by B5. Attack those knights. Play B6 next. Try to be as annoying as you possibly can. That's the way you play. Play chess. Queen F2. F5 now on the table. A piece has been won now. Can we are we gonna be able to beat him once again? We have rook f3 right now on the- with knight d4 I blundered and then I have queen f4. No problem in the world. 
So I have queen f4, he has to take it. And with that, I have rook h4 checkmate in the next move. Don't pre-move, he has knight f5. And Pepe Cuenca has been taken down. Incredible match. Incredible match, indeed. Incredible match. So, uh, I have to say, uh, huge thanks to uh, to Pepe Cuenca. It's, it has been uh, a really cool match, awesome. Uh, we, we're both kind of unlucky. He has been winning a few games. I was winning a few games. That was really fun. Uh, I really I really loved it. Uh, yeah, this is... <laughs> Uh, this was uh, great fun. So uh, thanks a lot to to Pepe for for this match. This was um, this was awesome, and I certainly certainly think that he will go for uh, his revenge eventually. So um, yeah, this was uh, great fun. And uh, thanks a lot for the congrats. Uh, thanks a lot for the congratulations. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot to Pepe for his time. I really appreciate that. Uh, he's not a... He is a busy man these days. <laughs> he has a lot to do and... Uh, <laughs> Pepe has to address you as father now. <laughs> I think... I don't. I didn't exactly like crush him or anything like that. It was very, very even all the way and I flagged him a few times and... It got too complicated for both of us, I think. And it was great fun, so... Um, so uh, you could really have a popular stream, mate. Well, thank you. I, I guess I uh, I might start start with that at some point. Uh, and you're so you're an I'm just beat a grandmaster. I know it's Pepe, but still. Well, I I, I guess I'm happy about that. Uh, wow, G Dubs, thanks a lot for the sub. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, for the congratulations uh, once again. <laughs> thank us by name each one of us. <laughs> Yeah, this was a this was a great match. Uh, I really, I really think it was uh, great, and it could go either way basically at any time. Welcome. We should do it another time, says Pepe, and I absolutely agree with him on that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, maybe I, I should try to play a match against every single like those language guys, and maybe Jan is the next one or something like that. So. Who knows? Who knows? We'll, we'll try to be fun. So, uh, thanks a lot for, for the nice comments. Uh, do you get 250,000 bucks for the win? <laughs> uh, unfortunately not. So, I don't, I could, I am going to watch Pepe's stream. Uh, I think that's going to be funny. I, I would love to see that, to be honest. <laughs> you just made a lot of social prisoners, prisoners happy. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. Uh, that was, uh, again, could have gone either, either way. Uh, I play those terrible gambits, though. So, uh, I guess that was a bad idea. But I did have a, have a great start as well. So, uh, thanks a lot, guys. I, had that, I guess that's uh, that's it. So, I'm going to end, um, end the stream, I suppose. So, uh, thanks a lot for uh, the nice comments. And... Uh, as always, take care, and uh, I will see you in uh, the next one. And um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I highly appreciate that. So uh, stay tuned until next time. And I believe I will definitely play Pepe Cuenca again soon. Thank you, guys.